Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Family Grind. My name is Fee and my channel is all about that hashtag mommy life, okay? So today I want to draw your attention to this felt diaper caddy that I found on Amazon.com. This thing is an absolute lifesaver, y'all. I kid you not. You can carry this thing with you anywhere throughout the house while you have baby in tote. It's very lightweight, it's very practical, and it's very efficient. You can literally pile all your baby's daily diapering, feeding, changing, clothing needs, um, toys, passies, you name it. You can stuff this thing to the max, and it is still a very lightweight tool that you can carry around with you. So I'm just gonna break down how I pack my diaper caddy. Um, I usually pack it at night so that when my husband comes home in the morning and I'm heading out to work, everything that he needs for the baby is right there at his grasp and he can kind of jump in bed, go to sleep while baby's sleeping. And when baby wakes up, he'll have everything that he needs to tend to the baby aside from, um, his bottles and things of that nature. I keep that stuff in the refrigerator. So as you can see in the front of the caddy, I actually have three um, teethers. Um, this one here, I really like this. I love this. This was on my baby registry. Um, it is an itsy ritzy teether in the shape of a uh, cactus. This right here, I can't remember, the, oh, Bright Stars. So this is a Bright Stars teether. This actually came with the teether that's the orange teether right there and another teether. Um, I really like this because I like the different textures. There's the wood um, and this isn't the kind of wood. It's been treated and stuff. Um, so baby won't get a splinter or anything from gnawing on it, but it's nice and hard for baby to chew. And then you kind of have the fabric here and it looks like a cute little teddy bear in the face to me, but I guess it's supposed to be a bunny. I mean, I don't know. Um, and this pocket, here's another teether, which is in the shape of a carrot. Um, so I just like to have these things on deck because baby is teething now. And so I want for myself and my husband to just have a teether that we could just grab real quick and use it um, to kind of uh, pacify the baby. Um, just to show you real quick, I have these tags. These are not tags that came with the caddy. Um, these are tags that I got with a free baby box. And I'm going to do a video on that in the future, just showing you um, what a baby box is and how you can go about getting one for free. But what the baby box did is it came with a lot of free goodies inside of it. And some of the goodies had these little tags on them. There were more tags. These were two that I chose to keep on here. And um, this one talks about a uh, diaper song. And this one is a changing conversation. So it talks about making a song with your baby you know, just kind of making up something um, to sing to baby while changing the baby. And the other is talking about just kind of having a conversation with baby about the process of changing their diaper. I'm not going to really get off into that. Um, maybe sometime in a future video, I will. So I just want to dig in and show you guys how I pack this. Okay, so this pocket right here typically has things like um, our arm and hammer um wipes that you can use to clean passies. My current baby is the only baby I've ever had that does not like passies. So these uh, wipes are used to wipe off his different um, teethers. Okay. Um, next, uh, you know, I have a bulb syringe in here uh, for when baby has a runny nose. I have some Honest Company Soothing Bottom Wash. I really love this. Um, it just helps kind of really get the baby fresh and clean in their diaper diapering area because, you know, when a baby has on a diaper, they're not really, um, I mean, that part of their body doesn't get much air. So every time we change baby, we toss, you know, spray a few squirts of this bottom wash and then we wipe baby off with a wipe. These are two wrist rattles that I found at Burlington Coat Factory for about $2.99. 
Um, I have some eczema therapy by Aveno Baby in here. I also have this Burt's Bees um, nourishing baby oil that I use on baby's hair. He did have cradle caps, so that oil definitely came in handy. And then I have the Burt's Bees Baby Daily Cream to Powder. What I don't like about this is that it starts off creamy and then it kind of dries. And what actually happened to this tube is that it dried. But I found that when I run it under super hot water, it kind of goes back into a cream a little so I am still able to use it this is just a pouch that a typical um, grooming uh, pouch and it just has like a nail clipper some files um, a brush a comb so on and so forth now here I like to pack um, a nice amount of diapers for my husband um, and these are the honest company diapers and this is the uh, choo choo train design. I don't think that that's the actual name of the design, but that's what I call it a choo choo train design. Um, I usually use Honest Company wipes. I ran out, so I just reached into my stash that I have from my um, my baby shower and I grabbed these Dove uh, baby wipes. I believe Dove just introduced these like in 2017, maybe 2016 or something. So I know these are fairly new for that brand. Um, but again, you know, I just, um, again, I like to use whatever I have. I knew something was in here. So anyway, I like to use, you know, whatever I have on deck. I don't want to um, kind of just constantly go out and buy things, especially when I have stuff that I got from my baby shower, even some of the things that I don't typically um, purchase myself. Now, over here in the larger pocket, I pack um, at least one burp cloth if my husband needs another he'll have to get up and get one um two bibs there's this bib and then there's one on the other side of the diaper caddy i always keep a pair of mitts and um two to three pairs of socks um and i try to get socks that kind of match some of his onesies or outfits that are in the diaper caddy now um during the day baby usually sits around the house in a onesie so um I typically pack more onesies than anything, but at the bottom underneath these onesies, there are a few outfits. So I just have, um, you know, socks to match what he has in there. Um, on this side of the diaper caddy, I actually keep two to three books. This is a book called Best Milk, and it talks about breastfeeding your baby. Um, I have... This uh, Staying Active Every Day, this cute little book, and it just talks about being active and playing. And then there's this book called Daddy and Me. Um, so I always like to have reading materials in the diaper caddy because I think that it's very important to read to your baby, especially when they're really small. On this side of the diaper caddy, I actually have, I usually have more than one, but this is one of those like medical, those little masks for when you're like sick or whatnot. I usually keep two to three of those just in case someone gets a cold or the entire house is sick, which we were not long after I had the baby who's now four months old. But um, so I kept a ton of those in there because I didn't want the baby to get sick. Um, so I like to have those so that, you know, if someone's coughing or has a runny nose, they can kind of contain their cold and not spread it to the baby. I also have these diaper um, sacks for used diapers. And what I have to do is I have to take them individually and fold them and then stick them in here so that when you're changing and if there's a blowout or something you can just snatch one out and you know bag up all the diaper mess and you're good um to go the other side i'm not going to show you because there's nothing in there but um this extra bib so there you have it this is how I pack my diaper caddy. Um, hopefully this was able to bless someone um, because I think that, you know, had I known about the fact that diaper caddies even existed with um, previous um, children that I've had, um, I would have definitely purchased one. So um, while, you know, building my baby registry with my last pregnancy, I ran across this and I was like, you know what, I'm going to get this. And it turned out to be a very, very, very good investment. So this is how I pack my diaper caddy. And I hope you enjoyed this video. 
I hope you learned a thing or two from it. Um, and I look forward to uploading another video soon. Alrighty, you guys, take care. Thanks for stopping by the family grind.